you never know where a small idea, where it'll end up taking you. I've always liked to cook, and this lets me cook, and I don't have to worry about it spoiling. I get to come up with new stuff. I kind of just play with Play-Doh all day. <laughs> I saw some fake food in the store and kind of thought I could maybe figure out how to make it, and I bought a book that showed me how to do it. I set up at a garage sale and sold almost $400 worth of fake food. I worked out at small craft shows for the first 13 years. I've been in a retail location for two years. Most of the fake food that I sell is used to decorate in people's homes, but I have a lot of interior designers, home builders, television shows, movies. Santa Claus 3 ordered a lot of different items. They ordered cinnamon rolls and cookies and cakes. And one of the cakes that they had me do, they didn't want any decoration on it because they had the elves putting the little pieces on it in the movie. A lot of it has just come trial and error. I have somebody that calls it and wants to know, can you do this? And I'll think, you know, let me think about it and I'll go to Hobby Lobby or Home Depot and kind of go through their stuff. I had a model home that wanted a complete Thanksgiving dinner. So I went to Home Depot and I got drywall joint compound. It looks just like mashed potatoes. Most people don't know that hot glue comes in different colors. It's used as the drizzle around the cakes, and it's used to dip strawberries. The cereal, popcorn, and pretzels were real. I've just used a resin to seal them so that they'll last indefinitely. Most unusual thing I made was fake anthrax for the army. They called and they needed it so they could show a sample, but not having to have the real anthrax there. They sent me the Petri dishes, and I just made a resin and colored the resin the right color. I put little white dots where it looked like the anthrax. I was doing a craft show in Oklahoma City at Affair of the Heart, and I had all my fake food set up, and some guys came through with the health department and they wanted to know where my food handler's permit was. I thought they were kidding. It was like, right. He goes, I'm serious. You have to have a food handler's permit to be selling food. And it's, he had no idea that it was fake food. He thought I was trying to sell real food. All of a sudden, it hit him. I told him, I said, okay, you can't eat any of this. And he was like, yeah, I mean, he was so embarrassed. It was so funny. And Thomas said, if I can fool the health department, then I've done a good job.